What's up guys? Today I made a diorama. Today what we're going to be building is a Mandalorian diorama. Now the kit I'm using for this build is the, uh, I don't know what scale, but it's the Bandai Mandalorian set. To begin, I went ahead and assembled the whole thing, disassembled it, and painted the base flat black. Now the flat back does two things, it adds a lot of shadows, and number two, it also adds a great base coat to paint the chrome paint from the Mandalorian's armor on later. Now the chrome paint I'm using requires that the base be a flat black, or at least a primer black, so that it sticks properly, and the color also shows through. Now the paint I'm using is a Metal Keller Chrome paint. Uh, the brand is Metal Keller and the Keller of the brand is Chrome. This paint sprays really great, uh, didn't have any complaints. Keller looks amazing after it's dried, and I highly recommend it. While the base paint was drawing, I painted the rest of the figure with chocolate brown paint. After the armor was dry, I used the Tambaya Panel Line Accent Color to add a lot of needed details onto the armor. This stuff works great, just apply it, it seeps right into all the cracks and crevices and adds a lot of details to the kit. After that was done, I began to assemble the finished model. After I had assembled the model, I realized I probably shouldn't have put the Mandalorian's head on, took the head off, and I painted the visor with a flat black paint. I then painted the Mandalorian's right armor thigh plate thingy, I don't know what it's called, with a flat black paint, and I painted the other side with a chocolate brown paint. If I accidentally got any paint where I didn't want it, I used a Q-tip to wipe away it. As I said before, I painted the other side of the armor plate with chocolate brown. I then painted the Mandalorian's iconic yellow gloves with a mixture of yellow and khaki. After that was completed, I assembled the entire Mandalorian again, added his accessories, and painted the details. The other figure in the diorama will be the Bandai Boba Fett kit. I assembled this off camera and disassembled it and painted it all off camera. After I finished painting him, I weathered him up a little bit and started to work on the diorama. The base of the diorama will be some extruded polystyrene foam. Now to prepare the base for me to start the building the diorama on it, I went ahead and placed the figures where they belong and used a sharpie marker to mark that spot. I 
I used some leftover pieces of foam to create a few little rocks. I then took some plaster of Paris, mixed it with a little bit of water and brown paint, and applied it to the diorama. Once that had dried, I took a mixture of chocolate brown paint and black paint and painted the diorama. Then I went ahead and I began to apply the static grass. To apply this, I took some matte Mod Podge, dabbed it over the surface of the diorama anywhere I wanted grass, and then used my static grass applicator to apply some 7mm Woodland Scenic Static Grass to the base. To add the smoke from the Mandalorian's jetpack, I'll be using some pillow stuff. Then for the lights, I used some uh, LED strip I had lying around, and I soldered some wires to it. After that was done, I fed the wires through a hole in the base, and I also attached a metal rod to the Mandalorian to make it look like he was flying. I then attached a pillow stuffing to the metal rod with using some flat, or sorry, using some PVA glue. Once that was done, I painted the smoke with a flat back paint. Then I turned the lights off in my room and painted it with a yellow paint. <laughs> 